I love making cowboy sushi. It's so much fun and everybody loves it. I'm gonna lightly take a little bit of oil and cover the top. This is gonna help the salt stick. Just rub that into every side so that you can keep all of your seasoning. Next, I'm having kosher salt. Always make sure that you use coarse kosher salt because it has a higher absorption point. And this is gonna draw moisture out of the ribeye and help you create that beautiful crust. While I let the salt sit on my ribeye, I'm gonna make a quick marinade. This marinade is one part soy sauce. Another hack I'm doing is using already pasted garlic. If you wanna cut your own garlic, go ahead, be my guest. But this is delicious and it's already done for you. I'm gonna add a little more oil. And this really just helps keep all the ingredients together and it keeps them saturated. It also kind of tempers down some of that salt. I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of cane sugar. This just gives it depth and helps bring out all the flavors in your marinade. Now I'm also gonna use a little rice wine vinegar and that's basically just to help elevate and liven up the marinade and help it penetrate faster into the ribeye. Marinades are really fun to do, and you can put anything you want in them. You can be creative. You don't have to worry about ruining your dish. So get in your kitchen and just explore a little bit. Now you can marinate in a regular baking pan, but I like to save space. So I'm gonna be using a Ziploc bag. It also protects it from a lot of oxygen getting in and browning your meat. With this quick marinade, I'm only gonna put it in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. Another thing that a lot of people do is add ginger to it. Feel free to grate ginger, use ginger powder, or you can use a ginger paste. That's all up to you and what you like. Just make sure that the marinade kind of gets in there and coats every side of your ribeye. I'm gonna go put this in the fridge and I'll see you in 10 minutes. All right, I've had my ribeye marinating for 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna take it out pat it down, and then I'm gonna pan sear this one in a cast iron skillet. While that's happening, I'm gonna start rolling my sushi rice to make perfect little forms for my steak to rest on top of. I'm sprinkling a little bit of coarse black pepper onto my ribeye, just because I like the taste, and kind of giving it an ode to Texas since it is cowboy sushi. So make sure you do both sides and just let that sit. It's gonna help form a really beautiful bark when you put it on your cast iron. So I have my sushi rice right here. And what I like to do is take a little bit of rice wine vinegar and coat your hands with it. Don't be afraid to get messy in your kitchen. <laughs> It makes for better food, I promise. Now, my rice has already been cooled down so that it's gonna form these sushi balls a lot easier. Another trick that some people like to do, if you don't wanna get your hands dirty, you can actually use a little bit of cling wrap or any type of saran wrap, and you can roll the sushi in that. But if you use enough rice wine vinegar on your fingers, you don't have to worry about getting too messy. And you can practice shaping these however you want, however you want to eat it. I like to do it like that. Cute little rice balls. You can get fancy and make hearts. I'm not there yet, so, <laughs> so I'm gonna do it just like this. And this is something you can get the whole family involved. If you have little ones, you can let them do this part. It's just like playing in Play-Doh. They'll be super excited. And if you wanna get creative, you can add 
uh, seaweed to your rice. You can make it spicy. You can do whatever you want. The rice will take on the flavor, so. If you're making your own rice, make sure that you use short grain rice. Long grain rice will not hold together. Trust me, I know, I tried that. So make sure that you're getting sushi grade rice from your store if you are gonna make it yourself. Okay, now we're done with that. And I'm gonna go and get my cast iron nice and hot. So I'll meet you over at the stove. steak rest for about five minutes just to make sure it reabsorbs all of the juices and some of that butter that I just put on it. I can already tell that this is gorgeous. It's so juicy and flavorful. For a little upgrade, if you get a Wagyu ribeye, this dish becomes phenomenal. So the beautiful thing is, Right now, the steak is done, the rice is ready, and we're 10 minutes in. That's amazing. So the cool thing about ribeyes is the reason it's called a ribeye is that there's a spinalis, which is like an eyebrow. And that's always the juiciest cut. So I like to take those for myself sometimes. And you always wanna slice across the grain. The reason we do that is because it's the tender bite. So if you ever get a steak that's like super chewy, it might not have been cut across the grain. And the way I learned this when I got started, a fellow pit master told me, he said, you're running across traffic with your knife. So look to see which way all the cars are going, AKA the way your meat is running, the lines in your meat, and then you'll know which way is the grain. Now it's just time to get creative and decorate a little bit. And feel free to be creative at this point as well. You can always put whatever toppings you want, anything you like, you can put on it. You can see how tender that steak is. That's delicious. And now this is where the fun part comes in. I have a little bit of wasabi. You can either get the fresh root and do it yourself. You can put it under the sushi so that you get it in every bite. But for me, I like to put it on the side so that everybody can do it at their own pace and what they like. I would hate to uh, give somebody a little wasabi surprise <laughs> on such a delicious dish. What I have right here is just a little garlic chili oil. You can get this at your local specialty store. Sometimes a lot of grocery stores have it as well. And I like it because it adds a little bit of heat, but a lot of that good umami garlic flavor. And I think that's just delicious. So I put a little bit on each one, let that oil run down and really color your meat. And then I'm just gonna grab a few little scallions that I already cut up. I'm just gonna try and use it as decoration. And you can go as heavy handed as you like. And then I like to just take a little bit of my chili oil at this point and kind of use it to decorate the plate, just to make it a party, just to add a little more color. Get 
get some of those good garlic pieces in there. We're 20 minutes in and your cowboy sushi is ready to be served. Enjoy. Enjoy.